Welcome to Inside the Lab with Aero Electronics, the web series dedicated to exploring the latest in technology and electronics. Today, we'll show you Linear Technologies 24-bit SAR ADC in the LTC 2380-24. It consumes a low 28 milliwatts of power, operating at two mega samples per second, has an integrated digital filter that promises 145 dB of dynamic range at 30.5 SPS, has no missing codes at full sampling rate, operates with no latency and offers low distortion, making it ideal for applications such as seismology, energy exploration, and medical imaging. We'll walk you through our demo setup and highlight some of the things we did to maximize the performance using readily available demo kits from Linear Technology. So the LTC 2380-24 is such a high quality ADC that you need a high quality source to really show the capabilities of it. So we're using the DC1858 to produce a two kilohertz sine wave here. And this provides a really clean signal so that we get exactly what we want. The source goes from here to a fully differential amplifier that splits it and also provides a common mode voltage that goes in here and acts as the VREF over two. So this is how we get a nice, clean, easy to see um, source. But then we have to worry about the sampling clock for the ADC itself. So we have a demo board here for LTC's DC1216, a low cost, low noise, 100 megahertz clock. And this is actually the clock that drives the ADC. It's the sampling clock, so it knows how frequently to sample. On the DC2289A, you get an optional first order low pass filter. This also includes a 100 megahertz rail to rail input and output, ultra low noise, low power op amp, and it acts as an input buffer to the ADC. And so all of this currently is set up for the AC sampling. However, it's actually fairly simple to switch it over to DC sampling, and we'll do that in a minute. We'll switch it over to DC sampling and uh, give you a demonstration. Uh, it's just a quick jumper change, and then you're good to go. So that's the setup behind this, and then this board simply is what provides the connection from the output here to my laptop. So I have P-Scope open here, and we're going to discuss the output that I'm getting and the information that I'm showing here on P-Scope. So here we have LTC's P-Scope, and it's pretty obvious you've got the time domain, P-Wave, Fourier transform, very clearly labeled here. Up at the top here at that one, you can see the two kilohertz of the signal that we're getting from the DC-1858. Now you get a couple of harmonics down here that you can also see over here and how that affects the total harmonic distortion. But overall, this is mostly just to see everything about this circuit. It's actually very impressive. It's got all of the parameters right here, all the harmonics. You can change the mega samples per second here. You can change the size of the bins and uh, how you're gonna window it. So this is a great tool to show how the ADC works and all the benefits you can get from this high quality ADC. All right, so now I have this set up for DC measurements and we have 10 volts coming into this board that our friend Vong at Aero created for us it actually splits it from 10 volts down to 2.5 volts and has a rather large capacitor to try and clean the noise out as much as possible. Then it goes to our LTC2380 uh, that is also set up for DC measurements, which then goes to the communications board. It's a new communications board for DC measurements, and that's the DC590, which then communicates with LTC's quick eval here on the laptop. So as we look here on the laptop, we can see that the DC, DC RMS noise is actually about 75 microvolts. So it's very, very low and it shows how quiet and how precise this ADC can get. So currently we're using the DC 590 for communication between the ADC and the computer itself. However, LTC also has the Linduino, which we could use instead. The Linduino has an Arduino footprint and it was created for developing and distributing firmware libraries and code for SPI and I2C compatible integrated circuits. The DC2026 board can also be utilized to evaluate provided C++ code libraries, thus saving design time. The LTC2380-24 comes in a 16 lead MSOP or a four millimeter by three millimeter DFN package and is drop-in pin compatible with the LTC2378 family of 16 18 and 20 bit one mega sample per second SAR ADCs, allowing designs that use these ADCs to easily upgrade to the 24 bit LTC2380. In conclusion, applications needing high speed sampling and high dynamic range benefit from the LTC2380 24. 
All of the evaluation boards shown in this demo are available from Linear Technology. For more information, visit arrow.com.